for the little uh, $20 limit switch that I found. Do an upper limit switch on this plow. Just do a little bracket onto the arm. The reason I did the little bracket was because I didn't want it to swing underneath and hit the housing of the limit switch. I went ahead and did an upper mount for the winch. Got all that in there. Got a little stop up top so the cable can't pop out. Limit switch seems to work really good. <clears throat> Let's see down. I'm just going to keep my finger on the up button. My finger's still on the up button. Seems to work great. Put the wiring on the back. That'll be kind of protected. I think I thought everything out pretty well. Uh, silicone the housing on the limit switch. But for 20 bucks, that ain't too bad. And then I just got into the wiring on the switch. This is a Yamaha. Uh, what is it? A Kodiak or something like that. Yeah, Yamaha Kodiak. So I just got into the green wire. The green wire is what I hacked into. Ran one end of the green wire down to the limit switch and the other end of the green wire down to the limit switch. Everything seems to work really good, so. Just kind of did this little plate in the front there in case it kicked up hard or something. It wouldn't bust this because this limit switch goes clear up underneath there and tucks behind that, so. I think everything's pretty well bulletproof. Just got to tuck the wiring in there and get some zip ties on it, and we ought to be pretty good to go from there, so everybody be safe.